Hey V, line them up. Guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are well. The baby let me out the um the basement after trying to turn me into a convertible and didn't work. So today I'm gonna earn my freedom. Now this is what if Naruto had the spin. For some context of what the spin is, it's basically the Chad version of Hamon from Part One. If you don't know what Joseph's Bizarre Adventure is, then Hamon is you know, uh, go watch the anime or watch the explanation video. But for strict, well, a quick rundown of the spin, it's Chad version of Hamon and um, Gyro. You 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 understand in the what if, all right? You just understand, okay? Now, let's just get into the video. Well, let's just start during the Naruto's attack. Well, Obito actually captured. Well, he held Naruto at hostage. Well, when I say at hostage, he had Naruto hostage. And so basically things would go out like in the canon and Minato would bring Naruto back to his crib and basically he would take off. And so he would reach to where Obito is. He would actually, before leaving Naruto, he would actually take out something from a drawer. He was never really going to resort to using it again, but this situation feels like he has to use it. Now. Monato's not your regular Monato. He's actually Monato Zeppeli. Now, he has the spin ball. Now, um, basically, spin ball, spin ball, in a nutshell, um, rotation, okay? And so, basically, um, ah, he would put on like a, like a waist thing to carry two spin balls on him, and he would use the rising kunai to get back and go to Obito. Obito would be surprised as He's never seen Minato have these types of spin balls on him. This must be some new technique he's been working on. But no matter, he has the Kamui. Now, no, Obuto would go and launch the chains at him. But Minato, would, he would dodge it. And for the next pair of chains he would throw at Minato, he would use a spin ball. It would break these chains, turning them. And then they would just combust from, well, detaching from the other chains. And Ob Obito would be pretty surprised, or aka Madara. He would be pretty surprised as, what, what are these balls? What are they doing? Pause. And so, basically, the fight would go on. But Monato would beat Obito a, qu a bit faster. And everything else would happen just like in canon. And so, when Minato is dying, and Haruzen would appear, he would then tell Haruzen, <coughs> Haruzen, <coughs> please, t teach. <coughs> no, <coughs> take care of Naruto. That's my final wishes. <coughs> and so, before he died, he would insert chakra into a kunai a rising kunai attaching the latch of steel ball well one of them actually broke well attaching a steel ball onto it and making the kunai teleport back to naruto's cradle and so he it will yeah basically it's there now when naruto was growing up he would always see this ball connected to like some type of kunai thing but Haruzen would, wouldn't tell Naruto to touch it. As he doesn't sure what it is, he doesn't want to touch it, but something to remind him of his father. Naruto would know about Minato, and that the whole village would actually know about Minato. So, Minato wouldn't, no, not, Naruto wouldn't get bullied and all that, you know? Basically, Haruzen would be like, if y'all try to disrespect Naruto, or try to say, or try to leave him up on the streets, I'm gonna cut your ankles off! I'm gonna give you the, your rage curse, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, best of Haruzen basically doing because, you know, Donjo want to be a snitch. Like, ha ha, ha, -ha I'm a snitch, ha ha. I'm a, uh, um, you know, we have the nine tails. Yo, weak, so weak. Ha ha, new. A anyways, now, of course, Naruto, one day, say about like nine, he would go and touch the spin ball because he was bored. He didn't want to play something. 
And so, once he touched it, his he would just fall to the floor. As once he got back up, he was able to walk still, but it seemed pretty hard for him to walk. And so, he was mostly just dragging himself onto the floor. And so, he started calling for basically help. Some Ambu would come in that were actually working for, personally, Haruzen, would come in and report what happened to Naruto. Naruto's still able to stand and walk, but mildly, he's he, sometimes he stays on the floor because it, it kind of really hurts. Now, Haruzen's not really sure what happened, and that Naruto said he touched the ball, and uh, Haruzen's like, what? Confusion? Um, alright, I guess. And then, like, you know... They would bring Naruto to the doctor, and they would basically give something to Naruto where he's still able to walk, but, like, he can still be on the floor or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, he get, they gave him something to insert chakra into, but he's able to still walk properly. But mostly, because of the spinability, he's going to be using it more on the floor than standing up. And you'll get why later into the series. Now, of course... I need to fix this because it's not showing me if I'm really getting a really good length of the video. I'm sorry gamers, but like, would you look at that? It was never actually broken. Anyways, so now Naruto, he would go to the academy. He would, st he would kind of have a hard time as, you know, his legs. I'm not saying he's disabled. He's like mildly, but not really disabled. Anyways, so now let's get to the Sasuke versus Naruto fight. Everybody would be cheering on Sasuke as well. The students are just piping him up as my own look. I'm not saying he's gorgeous, but like, I'm just saying that they just like him, alright? Anyways, they would have been hyping Sasuke up, giving Sasuke more and more confidence. And so Naruto, he he would kind of just be there, you know. And so the match would start. He would well Sasuke would actually run up to Naruto and he would actually try to do a fireball just that Atachi does but before even Aruka Sensei can tell Sasuke to stop he failed at the jutsu not remembering the full hand sign technique and fully being able to insert his chakra into it because of lack of chakra control Naruto is into advantage to do like a lion's or raw almost a uh, almost but not really a lion's barrage on Naruto on the I mean, on Sasuke but it's not like it's this bunch of punches that almost look like a lion's barrage but you get the point all right he would try to go for a kick to send him into the air but that would fail the fight would go on for pretty long but it would end up both Naruto almost actually becoming the winner now here's why during the fight Naruto's hand it would start to shake as his his nails it, it felt so weird and Sasuke would use this to basically beat up Naruto and kick him out the circle. Everybody would be cheering on Sasuke. And it would also be kind of making fun of Naruto. Naruto getting up, getting the strength to get up. He would then run into the forest, the forest of death. Ninja would actually be chasing after him. As the forest of death is kind of dangerous. Well, pretty dangerous actually. So they would chase, they would try, they would basically chase Naruto into the forest of death. And so, when Naruto would go into Force of Death, he would hide inside of a tree. Now, this tree would have this type scroll thing. And once he opened up the scroll, Haruzen would be behind him. Haruzen would then say, huh, so you found the scroll, huh? It's a myth anyways. And what are you doing in the Force of Death? I put the scroll here just so nobody opens it. This myth. That's a myth. Nobody should believe it, too. Uh, 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 it's just, it's like, oh, it's just holy bones, though. Yeah, you don't understand. Naruto, let me tell you a story. Back then, there used, well, Jesus, this Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus, when he died, his bones were scattered all over the ninja world. Well, yada, yada. No, I shouldn't say Jesus Christ because it's the yes, Sage 6 life, but you know what? I'll say it. I'll say it. We have Otsutsuki just in like another being that he made, alright? Doesn't matter. Anyways, his bones were scattered across all over the land. His eye, torso, the left and right arm, the, the both the eyes, left arm, torso, the head, legs, 
I think, was there holy, nah, there wasn't holy feet, but the, the holy corpse, alright, the holy, yeah, there's no holy feet, but the whole leg, the whole leg of the feet, but like, yeah, the holy corpse pieces, oh yeah, there's also the spine too, the spine also, nobody was ever able to find them, find them, there's been a myth that someone has, but, they, it's been said that they're a long time dead from some heart disease or whatever, and so, Naruto, keep that in mind, even seeing some images of these, well, these drawn holy course parts, and he would kind of believe it, it seems very interesting, and he still wonders what happened to his hand earlier, it's like his, his nails, it felt so weird, like a spinning feeling onto his nails, and so, Naruto, he let's disregard that. And her losing little brain, Naruto had the force of death. The next day, Naruto would feel eager just to go back into the force of death and read the scroll again. But when he went to go to the stump again, it wasn't there. He was confused, so he was thinking that her moved moved to a different location. And so, when he was basically running around, the floor would crack under him. Under him making him fall through. From falling through the floor, he would land to some type of cave, hurting his back in the, in the process, of course. And there, from hurting his back, he would be basically kind of crawling around, but slowly getting up, getting up. Now, from so, he would see this type of bone in the distance in this cave. It doesn't have any entry point. Well, it doesn't look like it has any actual entry point, but he would see this type of bone. And so he would crawl up to it. Guys, I forgot. There was actually no head. There was no head. It's actually the um your waist. Sorry, guys. There's eyes, torso, left arm, right arm, waist, and two legs. Anyways, he would go up to this, this rock and this look like a podium shaped rock. He would take up this corpse and he would remember, is this the, the holy corpse? What, what are the pieces? The holy corpse would then insert itself into Naruto's arm. Naruto, he would been screaming, ah, 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 as the, the corpse is inserting itself into its arm. He would been so confused. But then his, his arm, this will be the left holy corpse arm. He would then be able to start he would, well basically he would, he would hold his hand up and then his nail some type of rotation on his nail not going around it but on his nail he would then just shoot by accident slicing through the ceiling and day daylight would appear onto naruto even um well the ambu would actually be there when the floor is corrupted and they would see naruto down there confused how this happened they then pick him up and send him on his way and report to haruzin and so haruzin will go to naruto again and say don't go back there ever again i keep telling you that but you keep going back there you gotta stop this naruto would promise not to go that there again as he's more focused on what's happening so he decides not to tell haruzin and so he would be sitting there, looking at his arm, at well, both of his hands, his nails. He would look at them, as he he would then raise his arm again, try to feel that same feeling he felt earlier when he shot that nail, and then boom, a nail would appear on his finger, but it would disappear, and so Haruzen would come into the office, will come into Naruto's house again with the spin with the spin ball and the well holding the spin ball actually because now naruto has a spin he doesn't have it because he's not a zeppeli i'm not saying that zeppelis only have it but zeppelis can't have it but because certain reasons i'm just gonna say that um only naruto especially can get the spin only he can get it for now well not for now but like, only he can get it even though haruzin's like hold, no i'm gonna say I'm just, I'm just gonna say that um haruzin's like he has it in like a bag, whatever. He bagged it up by putting like 
gloves on there, whatever, you know, gloves, bagged it up, and then moved. Now, Kurohuzen, he would go up to Naruto and say, <sighs> I guess I should stop lying to you, huh? Remember the holy corpse thing I taught you about? Yeah, it's all real. I had to hide it from you, just because back then when people thought it was real, they didn't mass exploration for it. And if the villagers heard this again, oh, I don't know what would happen. But all I can say now is that I think you have one of them inside of you. Wait, you think so? Yeah. But here, your father, Monato, like I said, Zeppeli, he has, well, Monato clan has a lot of chakra, but they're known for their spin techniques. And I believe he left it behind for you. So here, the golden rotation, their golden rotation. He never taught me that personally, but that's what it says. I think you'll be able to learn how to use it and this spin ball. He's, I've seen him use this spin ball sometimes. It like, it basically turns the object from what I've seen. But I think this will be really a good help for you. Not even lying. Well, here you go, Naruto. I hope this helps. See ya. And so, Naruto, he would start reading these papers. He would be confused on the golden, the golden ratio, but well, the golden rectangle, whatever, you know. But he will let that go for now and try to learn that later. And so, Naruto, he would read these papers and he would finally feel, feel like he's able to use the spin. And so, once he got control of the spin on his fingers, he would have been happy. He would have been amazed that he's able to really do this. And that when he was shooting, whenever he's shooting, he's standing. It wouldn't feel right, but whenever he would be on the floor, he would feel like he has good control over his finger. Like the accuracy just increased when he was on his on the floor, basically, like crawling on the floor, not crawling, but like you get the point. And so Naruto would have been practicing until the graduation exams. Naruto, he would have passed, well, almost passed, well, no, simultaneously, kind of, but yeah. No, I'm not gonna fail. Naruto would feel like normal, and Mitsuki would trick Naruto to go to the school ceiling. We don't really care about this part, but like, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna see somebody get beat up. Yada yada. Just rush this through. Let me just rush this through real quick because it's really matter. But like, it's good for uh, multiple abilities. Uh, well, not multiple, but like, you get the point, alright? Now, Naruto, he would basically learn a little chocolate jutsu. Yada, yada. Haruzen get out of her um uh not Haruzen. I said his name earlier, but you know, Miliki would pull up, try to kill Naruto, or Ruka Sensei would come, save Naruto, get beat up, or Ruka Sensei like death like on death's door. Naruto do the most child konjutsu, and then from the most child konjutsu, all his clones would get ready to shoot nail shots at Mizuki. When they shot these nail shots at Mizuki, they would slice through, but not the metal though. They wouldn't be able to slice through the metal part, but they would slice through Mizuki, legit decapitating him. There's, I'm not nerfing the spin. You don't, you got me messed up. I'm not, I'm not nerfing, nerfing it. The spin has such rotational force. It's, he's able to cut through basically anything, but not metal. He can't cut through metal. That's the, what's the downside of it? And so. Music he, he would have been decapitated. Aruka Sensei would be watching this, seeing this, looking how Naruto did something, and he's music. He's dead. He's he's just there. Uh, he's not sure how to explain, but yada yada. You'd graduate Naruto, and Naruto would put you up with seven, and then now we're here. Naruto he would have been in the waiting room. Waiting for Kakashi Sensei, as they've already announced the teams. And because we're just taking out the less interesting things, just so we can speed the story up a bit. You know what I mean? Anyways, they look for Kakashi. Kakashi, being late as ever, he would get into the room and say that he got lost now. And now he's here. 
enter, Kakashi would then tell him to meet up on the, build, the rooftop building. Hill then, he would explain to, explain to Team 7, like this, like, none of your business, yada yada. And so, everything would go like canon. From that point on, basically. Now, when Naruto, he would go to sleep. It's night time, of course, he would go to sleep. Not night time for me, I'm saying. He would be in Karama's chambers, saying, Wait, so you're the nine to yes, the nine tells Fox that your father defeated, putting me into the child, and the other half in him. But you get the point. I know this ability that you have. Nobody else can see it. It's a surprising ability. Even more surprising than Chakra. But my tail beast bombs are stronger than it. But you shoot that thing at high speeds. Incredible, huh? Hmm. You have some power, kid. But does it matter? Only Kate Marie brought you here just so you can get a look at me. So I can get a closer look at you and your ability. Strange, huh? Alright then. But what, what, what's your name? But as soon as he would say that, he would get kicked out of his, um, of his mindscape, of course. And so, the next day would come along, and they would be taking the test. Not the test, but the, um, they would be taking the, the test outside. So, everybody would be waiting for Kakashi. Naruto would come late, because Karama, they would scold him. But they would then be waiting for Kakashi. Kakashi would then come and say that he got lost on the path of light, life. And so he would go to the middle of the field and say, All right, Team 7, this is the Bell Test exams. If you fail this, I will send you back to the Academy. I have done this multiple times. Yada yada. Wait, that, that makes no sense. How? As Sasuke would say, You're sending us back to the Academy? What? Bro. I ain't becoming ninja for no reason. Anyways, so now Kakashi he will start the bell test. Naruto doesn't want to hurt or cut off anything of Kakashi. So he would basically try to not hold back forth on the nail. But when he would shoot at Kakashi, it would shoot so fast even Kakashi wasn't able to react. This would cut off a like basically would go into like his skin, cutting off a portion of it on his leg. He would have been heavily, not heavily, but he would have been bleeding. And so he would, Kakashi would rub off part of his pants and tie on his leg. He was confused that he didn't even see it, but he felt a pressure around it. He was able to dodge before it can even get any deeper into his leg, but yeah. People were, Nart, Sasuke, and Sakura were wondering, what did Naruto do for that to happen? That's a powerful ability. And Sasuke's wondering, how? How does he have this power? No way. So then Naruto, he would resort to using the spin balls. Once he would take out the spin balls, Kakashi would be, su be surprised as th the spin balls? No. Only Master Minato had those. He got shocked for a second until Naruto threw his spin ball at Kakashi. Kakashi already knows how to dodge his but not fully, as the spin ball works in mysterious ways. And so, from doing that, he would dodge the spin ball, but another one come flying at him. At him. And so, from that, Kakashi, his leg would just start spinning. It would hurt, and then the spin ball would pop off. Sakura would come and smash on the floor. Then Kakashi flying a bit into the into a tree, knocking his head. But he could then put Sakura under a Genjutsu. The Genjutsu type, not with the not with the Sharingan. This is regular Genjutsu, aka the girl that was supposed to be a Genjutsu expert. That's not. And so Sasuke will try to come in. He will get bodied, and Naruto would basically hit, cut off the bells from Kakashi wasting get the dub now there was somewhat of teamwork so Kakashi passed them and said they can go home actually had to reread Gettysburg's dream because um 
I got mixed up. There's actually the skull, right eye, left eye, torso, the spine, your waist, two legs, two arms, no fingers. Well, there's the arms are cooked to the finger, but you get the point. And the two ears. Two ears. Two ears. Two ears. Anyways, let's just, let's, let's just go off where we last were. Basically, Kakashi, the, well, basically Team 7 won, yada yada. Naruto with the baiting, like, wait. That, there isn't a team of only two people. That's only if the team member died. And they're finding a new one. That makes no sense, Kakashi. Well, you, you figured me out, kid. I don't know what ability you have, but you have the steel balls like Minato did. Interesting that you're able to use them without going, you know, I shouldn't say it, but it's crazy you're able to use them, huh? And so now the days, well, they would go by, you know, the de um, Naruto he would actually request for a horse. A horse? Why would Naruto need a horse? Aha! Aha! My steel bun, my steel ball readers are just laughing in the background for the reason why. But like, we're not there yet. We're, we're not there yet. <laughs> it's just there. Anyways, who was gonna be like, why in the bloody hell you need a horse for? And it's like, um, because my, um, and who was gonna deny Naruto? Because, like, that sounds, that's dumb. You got chalkware walking. You don't need not, you do not need a horse. And so, Team 7 would be assigned their first mission, actually. Now, there is, a farmer would walk into the office. His name would be Tazuna. He says that his cops have been getting... Basically, well, his city, well, not city, but, like, over where he lives, there's a, a bunch of bandits going after him, and that, like, whenever he would try for some re reconstruction within his, like, his area, not his house, but whenever you go planting or reconstruction up on the bridge, bandits would appear, and you have to run away. And so he would basically ask Team 7 for their help and that he's able to bring them to the bridge. And so he's able to refix it. And so he'd be able to, for trade to go smoothly again. And so Team 7 would agree and they would head off from walking. Naruto, he, he, would, be sense, he would sense something. So he would shoot right at this, the pond and then he would shoot up into the air with his nails while on the floor and so the two twin demon head brothers one of them would have got shot within their heart killing them instantly and the other one would have got shot in the um the eye making them not able to see but slowly dying Kakashi would be like bro Naruto oh my gosh we need information so then Kakashi would pull up to one of the demon brothers still alive be like all right I'll preserve your life if you tell me everything you know and so Demer turned to survive. He'd say everything, but then he would die. Sasuke would look at Naruto being jealous of his ability, how he was able to instantly kill both of them just by spamming his nails, whatever, you know? But he doesn't know what's nails, but like, yeah. Anyways, so then Dashi would be like, all right, I think this is a dangerous mission. The information I got out of them is that, that they're here to assassinate Tazuna. And uh, I don't think it's a recognition ready for you guys. But Kakashi Sensei, come on, bro. I ain't trying to go back to the village with them boring missions. Kakashi Sensei would finally agree. And so he would let them continue with on the mission. They would soon reach to the bridge, and a heavy smoke, not smoke, but heavy mist, would cover them all up. And a blade would have been flying near them. Well, basically flying him and so they would all dodge landing onto the floor from that from landing onto the floor demon mr zabuza would appear with his blade in front of them not fully but in front of them after achieving a sword and going back 
And so he would then say, huh, so isn't the copy ninja Kakashi? All right, then I'll be fighting you first on the next what if. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. And yeah, see y'all later. Peace.